Okay, so this is a video about uh, creating a uh, conversion uh, of a Gronk Class 08 uh, diesel shunter. And uh, this uh, little video is going to show how I turn a uh, standard Gronk into uh, Sid Piran, which is um, 08645 and based out of uh, Long Rock in uh, Penzance in Cornwall. So I chose as my base this uh, sector unnumbered uh, Dapple uh, 08. Uh, it's got the uh, sparrow on the side, so I've got to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, Simpirin, uh, it got its new color scheme, um, the cross of uh, Simpirin in uh, 2019. Uh, when it was uh, prepared for uh, the uh, GWR's uh, open day at Long Rock in Penzance in uh, in April 2019. So they basically painted up with some pictures in the video here. They painted it actually black with a white cross of St. Piran. Um, so why is that important? Well, uh, I'm a Cornishman uh, originally, uh, so. Uh, Obviously, 2019 doesn't sit in my era either with Jafar or New Park Road, but um, I haven't seen one done in Oak Age yet. And uh, obviously, being a Cornishman, I think it makes uh, a little bit of sense for me to to try to recreate it. Um, and again, not in my era, but uh, you know, whilst uh, Jafar is 1976 summer of, that's that's where it's situated. Newham Park is actually much more freeform, so uh, I can run a bunch of different uh, stock. Uh, and Newham Park, of course, is for um, built for exhibition. So, um, and one exhibition alone, which is the Super Train, which is the only one we really have here in uh, Western Canada, uh, which is April every year, uh, although it's been um, uh, not held the last three years due to the pandemic, of course. So. But anyway, hopefully we'll uh, enter again, uh, so and get accepted into um, exhibit. So I think just having, you know, a range of different locomotives, um, you know, to entertain the public will be good. And I think, uh, you know, 08645 St Piran will be um, a suitable talking point for for guests and visitors. I mean, obviously it's uh, black with a white cross, but. Um, you know, it's certainly uh, distinctive. So, so I've got the base model here. So we'll start on that pretty quick here in just a minute. And uh, of course, uh, Steve at uh, Railtech uh, has done a good job on uh, getting me the name plates and the numbers. So uh, lots of masking, lots of painting. Um, I'm not an aficionado when it comes to. Uh, uh, locomotives or uh, rivet counter detail guy at the end of the day it'll all be if it looks right from three feet away that's 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 good for me you know so I'm sure I'm gonna get some lighting wrong or some pipes or there'll be valves in the wrong place I don't know and I don't really care uh, but it'll be my interpretation and my representation of the locomotive um, uh, which is still in use today at uh, Long Rock uh, and Penzance down in Cornwall. So, uh, yeah, uh, I do have three blue gronks uh, on the lights. Um, so, this is my fourth. So, I understand the locomotive at the moment, it doesn't have a chip or sound, uh, obviously. So, um, but I'll put that on in due course, unless I really cock it up. Uh, well, I'll probably paint it back to blue. Anyway, let's uh, play along and uh, see how we get on. First bit of masking done, so um, glass obviously, sight glass, um, front yellow and black stripes. Uh, I have taken off some of the relief on the, uh, the sparrow for sure. Um, but yeah, no, so what I'm going to do first is to uh, prime in the white stripe, uh, and I'm also going to prime the ends of the uh, the box is white because those are uh, a yellow and black stripe. So 
painting yellow over black is not going to work so we're going to uh, paint in the uh, paint it white first then yellow and then uh, apply uh, black uh, decals again from uh, Steve at, uh, at Railtech so uh, yeah point of no return get some paint on okay, so as we can see now I have sprayed in the undercoat for the white cross and also the yellow for the uh, where the stripes will go on the front facing uh, panels of the uh, of the locomotive so yeah still uh, rough and ready at the top this is all good this will be when the black goes on later on we'll mask this off and it'll look a lot a uh, lot better so yeah here we uh, moving on next will be to mask off the uh, yellow pieces once that's hardened and dried and then we can go over with a proper gloss paint of white and then we'll uh, mask off the white cross and uh, fill in the blacks that should uh, get us to where we need to be okay last uh, shot before we let it dry as you can see now the uh, white top coat is uh, plugged in now we'll mask that bit off and uh, you can see I've touched in some of the black already so you can see how the striking contrast is going to be between the white gloss of St. Perrin and uh, the black gloss of the main logo body. Okay, more to follow. So we've uh, done the white, done the black. Uh, obviously there's been some creep, it's really difficult to uh, mask this off because it uh, runs parallel to where the handrails are so um, what's going on there is obviously we've had a bit of paint that's just crept up underneath but what we'll do now is we'll uh, leave this dry overnight and we'll uh, then mask off the black and uh, re-go over the white Obviously re-going over the white makes a lot more sense than uh, going over the uh, trying to paint white onto uh, to black so uh, yeah it looks uh, really quite rough at the moment but uh, trust me when we're uh, a bit further along it's going to look uh, way neater. Okay all to follow. Okay so we've tidied the uh, white stripe up now so uh, coat of gloss and then we'll uh, put the uh, decals and transfers on okay so uh, got the decals on these are from uh, Railtech He's uh, not used these 3D, uh, three-dimensional water slide ones before, but they look uh, really good. These were a bummer to put on these uh, these stripes. Very difficult to uh, to get in place because you're laying them over lots of detail. Got to put a coat of varnish on yet, but overall it's looking um, it's looking pretty good. Put it at the other side. Again, as you know, I've painted the yellow base and then these are black stripes again from Steve at Railtech. So it's got a little glue mark there that'll dry and I'll peel that off uh, later. But yeah, overall it's looking uh, just like I wanted, I think. Catches the, uh, catches the original for sure, I think. Got to do a bit of uh, light weathering yet. But yeah. Quite pleased. Not bad for a couple of hours work over this long uh, weekend here in Canada. So, like I said, not really my era, but uh, as a Cornishman, I thought it'd be an uh, interesting uh, model to make. Certainly unique on the railroad, on the railway for sure. So, yeah.
Final bit here now is to uh, just wait for the decals to dry on the other side and then uh, put a coat of varnish on to uh, to seal it all in. Then I'm going to uh, do some light weathering. I mean, it's been going around for a few years now so it has got some weathering on it. I've, I have got a little bit of white overspray here uh, so I'll deal with that. The roof will be the dirtiest part of it anyway. But uh, yeah. Here we go, so, a few hours and suddenly got a unique locomotive for the, for the railroad. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, catch you all soon.